This is a walkthrough of Nakayubi's Escape Room Game Center. On this box, we have a four button combination. In this one, we have four knobs. On the drink machine, we have hot and cold drinks. Elevator is guarded by a monkey who's looking for the elevator buttons. We have a briefcase with letters and numbers. Robot. We have gumball machines, black and white pattern. So we have a machine that looks like it needs a coin. Two boxes on the table. With two piggies. One that's looking for a car. And one is looking for a letter block. We also have a pattern on the wall of Pac-Man. This cabinet, we have a word made up of letters. Patterns and colors. Guy is looking for a basketball. We have four steering wheels at different positions. Two drums. What looks like a cannon. So we have four pillars of different heights. Portrait Studio, Change Machine, Two Claw Machines, Buttons with Arrows, we need a pattern to get into here, this claw machine we have more figurines and machine. And this pattern looks like the steering wheels, so we'll try the different positions of the steering wheels. And we get a set of drumsticks. This looks like the gumball machine, so we'll try that pattern. And inside we find a cannonball. So we could use the pillars to open up this box. And we find a pair of scissors. Going back to the portrait studio, we could cut the tape and we find pictures of the piggy in different disguises. So we could use the drumsticks on the drums and that turns on the screen. And on the screen we see the positions, one, two, three, four, with different names. The first letter is underlined in each name. So using the cannonball, we can load the cannon and here we will get a pattern. So following the order of the numbers, we have a pattern. So 
So we'll enter that pattern into the machine here. And we find a letter block. We also have the combination for this briefcase using the screen. We had positions one, two, three, four, and the first letter of each name. So entering that into the briefcase, we have N A N N C O. And we find a car. So we'll hand those items over to the cookies and see what we get. So we'll note the positions of the cars. And here we have the word amusement. We'll use the position of the cars to open up this box. We get one of the elevator buttons. We'll use the word amusement to open up this top cabinet. And inside we find the other elevator button. We'll also use the portrait pictures and the disguise worn by the piggy in each one to open up this box. And inside we find a basketball. We'll hand the basketball over to this guy and we'll see what kind of pattern we'll find here. So following the direction of the basketball, see it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. We'll hand the elevator buttons over to this monkey. And to get into the elevator, we'll need to do the pattern up, down, up, down, up, down. So we're headed upstairs and we'll do some exploring. Find a clock. A piggy that's looking for her teddy bear. Bird. A briefcase. And the three figures are matching the figures in the claw machines downstairs. We'll add up each figure to determine the combination, and we get a belt. Here we have a Ferris wheel, and we need a ride ticket. Box here with eight buttons, and we'll need the colors off of the second drink machine and add the colors together from the drink machine downstairs to get the combination to get in. So you have a piece of paper. 
In the second box, we'll need the Pac-Man from downstairs and the direction their mouths are pointing. So inside the second box, we get what looks like a wand. So over on the stage, we have a pig that is looking for the belt. So we pick up something shiny on the floor, and that's half of the key. Looking at these guys, there are arrows on each one, points in different directions, and we'll need that to open up a box downstairs. Before we go downstairs, we'll put this arm on the clock, and we'll note the positions of each sheep. So the arrows we'll use on the claw machine. To get the teddy bear. And we'll give the teddy bear to the pig upstairs. In exchange for the teddy bear, we'll get a piece of bread that we'll feed to the bird. The bird family arrives and we'll note the shape of each bird, or the size of each bird, and we'll need that to open up a box on the table here. Inside, we find a bill. So we'll go to the change machine to change the bill for the coin. And we'll insert the coin into one of the game machines over here. So that activates the machine and we see different symbols. So we'll use this piece of paper and look at how many fingers each hand is holding up to get the voucher from the machine. We'll give the voucher to the robot. And the robot will give us a ride ticket. Before we go back upstairs, we need the other half of the key. So the bottom cabinet holds the other half of the key. We'll need the clock that has the same symbols, as well as the Ferris wheel that has the colors we need. So we'll overlap the symbols with the Ferris wheel to find out what colors we need. Inside we have the other half of the key and we'll combine the two halves. So we have everything we need, we'll head back upstairs. We'll hand her the ride ticket and unlock the Ferris wheel door. And inside is what we're looking for. We're out. Congratulations.